ask Tom on home show. Todd from Miami, Florida has a question about a flat roof. Well, it's in his 1,600 square foot old Spanish home, Tom. And Todd writes, I have a porthole soffits all around the home, but nothing on top of my flat roof. And I was told not to vent off the top of the roof. So he wants to know, how should I vent and get the uh, hot air out? You know, this is a great question. I spent 15 years in Miami and growing up as a child, my my grandparents lived in Coral mm -hmm. Gables. So you can and, picture uh, the kind of house he's talking about. Oh, I know exactly yeah, yeah. where he's going with this. Okay. And it's one of the old ones. And they were not insulated. Here is why. Those homes were not used all year long. Those homes were used only in the winter time because it was the winter home from people that came from up north down. So they had didn't have air conditioning. I, I lived in Miami for about five years with no air conditioning at all. They didn't have those kind of things that you would experience in, say, Houston or somewhere else. Those were old winter homes, and that's the way they were designed and built. And if this one has a flat roof, the information he's getting is absolutely right. You cannot ventilate it. Now, they had the little Spanish portholes all the way around, and it was more for looks than for, for any kind of ventilation. But if it gives a little bit, great. There's nothing you can do about it. What you have to do with those old Miami homes is if you're going to air condition it and be comfortable, you have to really ton up, as we say, on your system to make sure it's strong enough to handle the days. Believe it or not, it doesn't have the load, say, that Houston has because it's not as intense as Houston is with the heat or, say, down Brownsville or somewhere on the Gulf Coast. Miami's more of a, a more moderate but subtropical climate. And so air conditioning, uh, you just rely on it and turn it on. As far as insulation goes, most of the homes built before 1975 down there were not even insulated at all because they weren't meant to be used all year long. And people would buy homes, they would build them cheap, and that was going to be their retirement home. And when they got to be 85 years old, like my grandfather, he wouldn't let you turn the air conditioner on all year long, and he would still wear a sweater in the house. Wow. Well, I, uh, I work with a, a client down in the Tampa Bradenton area. Different and, area, yes. Right, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, well, similar just in the sense that it's the, it's Florida heat. And, and it's to oh, your yeah. point, to your point, they got the snowbirds that come down. But this year they had a problem mm -hmm. with the snowbirds. They couldn't come. They got, yeah, they were, uh, they, got they had to go through quarantine, they right? They, they yeah, did. Quarantine, yeah, quarantine, yeah. And worse yet, the ones from Canada couldn't come down at all, so... And let me tell you where they are in that area. It's much hotter than Miami. Miami mm -hmm. is a different climate. When you go to South Coast, Florida, yeah. it changes totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so people don't realize they think farther south you go, the hotter it gets. That's not true. You get mm -hmm. Ocala, Florida, Gainesville, that area in there. It is hot as can be. You get into the Georgia area, super mm -hmm. hot. You get down to Key West. You can just sit on the patio all night long with the ocean breeze and stuff and just enjoy it. So it doesn't matter about how far south you are. It depends what region you're in. Well, it's a lot like Texas in the sense that there's like Florida yeah. is like several different states. You know, you got the panhandle yes, is very is. different from, from like you're saying, the west coast or the east coast or the uh, you bet. the Georgia border area. It's all very different when you go there. It but is. anyway, so bottom line is he's got to ton up and not worry about ventilation and, and march Air on. condition and enjoy the old, those old homes are cool. Oh yeah. And I, I don't yeah. mean cool in temperature. I mean, they're cool to live in because I lived in them for many years off and on in, in my mm -hmm. years in Florida in Coral Gables and they're just really, really fun to be in. All right. You got a question? We'd happy to help you out. Go visit Home Show Your Time. Click on that blue Ask Tom button right there on our homepage and fill out one of these forms. You can use the form or there's a video thing where you can actually record a video and send it to us. Um, put a lot of work into that and nobody ever sends us one. So, <laughs> but anyway, it was one of those things. You know, I saw Steve Jobs the other day talk on an old video talking about how they start with what does the customer want and then they go to the engineers. This is a case where we went to the engineers and then we went to the customer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, you got a the question. end user is very important. It is quite important. It's, and it's significant <laughs> yes. in this age of the internet where you vote every day with your little mouse. All right. M vote with your mouse by going to our website to see some of these videos. Tom and I put a lot of work in them. You can post them every day at homeshowradio.com, our uh, Facebook page, and of course on our YouTube channel.